And welcome back to another episode of Minecraft World on Skyblock 2 with Bueno. And I am recording from the next day, and as you can see, bam, this has all disappeared. Because as I stated, I moved it. So it has been moved over to here. So now this is will be where we make everything because it's far and out of the way. Um have set up the new smeltery here so I uh, will get a pipe running across to this one so uh, oh wow that's full uh, is this full? no interesting hmm may have to use a tank to empty that a little bit. So anyway, I spent some time last night cleaning the area up, which I said I would do. And yeah, I did. So I didn't realise that this was full. So, there we go, and this should... This. The, that's the only problem with this, is it needs a lot of area. So that will fill up. So, <laughs> we'll let that go. But we'll continue on with this. And. Now up there. Look at that, that's cool. Anyway, so, we need to get into embers today. So, but first, before we get into enders, I'm going to see if I can make a leadstone exchanger, because we need one. Well, don't really need one, but I would like one. So, let's grab some of this, and some of this, and we need a sulfur, which is over here. So yes, um, went to sleep, woke up, went to the, did some work stuff, came back, the usual. So it's been a good day so far. So, oh that's right, we need a bucket and I can't do that. Ah, oh, really? Really? Annoying. Because you need a fluid transporter with resonant ender. Which is a magma crucible. So, yeah. Okay, let's let's just get straight into liquid, uh, not liquid. Um, into embers. So, in embers, we need to make a few things. Oops, wrong one. So, down here. So we're going to miss bees because we don't really need bees just as yet. We do need to get into it, but this is to help me make power. So, in order to start off with thermal expansion late game, you need to progress through embers. For mission based mod, mod, you need the ancient codex to start you off. You need to make a couple of ember shards and a ember activator. Okay, so we need some ember shards. So let's uh, crystal cluster. There's a crystal shard, and then there's the shards here, which needs the... wow! Okay, so I needed the crystal shards there, so I need to make a few of them, and I need some blaze powder. So we got some blaze powder, and I don't think I have any more of those shards, because I threw all mine out, because I didn't think I would need them, but I guess I was wrong. Now, can I make a few with this? Now it's going to be a hike to run over here and do this, but it shouldn't be that often I do. Nah, you need the standard glass. So let's see if we have some standard glass. We need some sand, probably. So, mm, I can't see any there. Don't even know why I even bothered checking that chest. And none there, so it looks like we're going to have to quickly cook some up. I know we have plenty of stuff, but 
We only need a little bit. So. But we need some backup as well. So let's whack this away. That. And we'll take the two glass. Let that run. And we whack this in here. See, it gave us a nice chunk. So, that's good enough. So, we need 2 per 13. So, let's go... There. And... Put all them in. Lots of this done. Okay, so the next one is the activator, Emma's emitter, reception. Nope. Um, I don't even know where to look for an activator. How many of you use this mod once? There we go. So we actually need a furnace and two iron plates. So I know I don't have any furnace left, but I do have two iron plates and six copper. And we need to make a dirt furnace, which is one of them. I don't know why it gave me 64. I wish he added a different way of doing this. But, alas, he did not, for future reference. So, and there's a furnace. The activator is here, like this. Now, do I need anything else? I do not know. Let's do a quick room size, so if we leave a 2 square and start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, F7. So that is basic two rooms there and embers. Uh, this needs to go in the middle. And then it's uh, no two. And then one, two, three. And then one, two, three. Just a quick layout. I know I will change it on. I uh, will not change it, but update them so they look full. There we go. So if we do from here, one, two, three, four. And there's our Ember Activator. I need to have the Tinker's Hammer. Which... I don't have on me. It must be somewhere else then. There it is. Okay, now I know I need a couple of other bits and pieces. Uh, let's read the book. Uh, by feeding the shards into the Ember the Activator, you're turning them into raw en Ember energy. The energy can be transferred using emitters, relays, and receptors. So we need emitters and receptors. Don't need the relays, um, as I found out. Uh, here is the receptor and the emitter. So we need actually quite a bit of Carmite, so um, uh, what did I get out of that? That will do, so there, then there, then there, then the clay, and then we can use, where's the block of clay, I think uh, that one, and if we go into the starlight, it's sand. So 
what we did was just did this so we can actually have some fun with this and that only goes 72 so I don't need like heaps of clay but we'll do an even 8 and as I stated last episode I think it was the last episode if you put these three here this is already linked to that spot so and I saw a red over here so why is there red dot over here there should be no dot over here up I don't know there's an owl up there I don't know why the owl is being angry but I guess it is for some reason so we just wait for that to turn into clay and this will be the instead of going through the whole progress put it down change it to put it down or dirt then change the dirt to clay this is a little bit better you only just go from straight to clay may take a while by the look of it but yeah I don't mind it well this is the first time doing it so that's okay I am running out of hard drive space where I'm storing this data I've got 49 gig left so I think I might have to check up on a new hard drive just it's only a 500 gig that I've had for a few years so I think it might be time to buy a new hard drive so I do have a server with all my work stuff on it and there is our clay so I can just keep doing this with a few times so So you need sand to convert it as well. So I wonder if there's another easier way to get clay. So you got slag and water. And other bits and pieces. So probably gonna have to look for the clay blocks more ways oh, that pretty much seems it is this way or yeah but that's okay because we can always do um, this way so uh, do I have any spare sand I I just put that into, didn't I? You're an idiot. Didn't want to do that. Oh, we got some spare. Okay, so... This should be enough, hopefully. Nope, still need a little bit more sand. And we're two. So the two that we got out of here can go back. That's fine. And then, uh, what are the carmite for? So we a raw stamp, which we will need. A flat one. And a plate, which we don't really need. We can use it into carmite bars, which I know that. But we need some ember plates don't we so let's make um, I'll make three um, see how that turns out because we may need bricks in the future for something so we don't really need that many plates now we need to make an ember emitter which we need uh, some of them and some of them an ember emitter it makes four so that's a nice amount and the receptor is where you get it attached 
So, I still don't know all of this stuff, but I'll eventually work it out. I have seen people use it in the past with quite a few people, um, not making much out of it, but the basics of how to use it. So, I'm just going to put this here, and the extra stuff can go in there, and the plate, so we can sort it out. Um, the emitter has to go here, and that's right. And then the re oh, that's a repeat uh, receptor. No, that's right. I think it is. It's a receptor, and the other one's a relay. Yeah, you don't need the relay. You can do the beam splitter, but you need Dawnstone, and that was what we're probably after. You need a lever as well. Now, this makes it look funny with these levers from this pack, but I think these levers look amazing, so I quite enjoy them. Um, this is the only way I know how to activate it. Um, you probably have something else. You probably could have put a light on there, uh, a. Um, yeah. Something else on there, a uh, torch or something. Or even something from the mod pack here. So, anyway, next item we need to make. Uh, we need to feed this thing too. So, um, I think you put a hopper next to it. And it will cook up. I don't know if that will work, but... Yep, yeah, there, see? So it's burning the energy now, uh, and get ready to send it. So, uh, by feeding the shards into the ember activator, turn it around, the energy transfer, the emitters relay receptors, yep, okay. Uh, to make Dawnstone, you first need to melt down copper and gold, either by the smeltery or a melter. Now, this confused the hell out of me when I was doing this. Um, this is the melter. So we actually need four bricks and we need another furnace. Which, that's rather expensive. Uh, but, we need another Carmite plate. So we'll take you and we need four of you. And we need another gunpowder. I reckon he should have just added like a steel recipe or something to make endgame or well, mid-game making these a little bit easier because you have to make dirt furnace you need to make a stack of these carmite plate and there's your furnace I should see actually if there is but see there's only one recipe to get your furnace um, so the melter, we are missing the key ingredients, uh, and I didn't pick up the, no, I need another plate, don't I? I do, so, and this mod pack does make it rather difficult in making stuff because you yeah you need to go make carmite plates and all this other stuff just to get some basic stuff running uh, manufacturer I want Western Digital performance drive $108 for okay so this is a melter $108 for a 1 terabyte 179 for a 2 terabyte interesting okay so basically you want the melter here now you can drop it in from the top and then but you need a receptor on the bottom I think it was so, and then you go right click there left click there and then it she'll it doesn't actually tell you how much it fills up but this should work. So if I throw in, I don't know, three copper, there you go, it's melting. Now to pump out, you need to come from the top. 
So if you read on, it says it needs to do from a melter. You can then transfer molten copper and gold, mix it into to make molten. Uh, the last step, uh, no, because there's something in between it that you need to do. was a mixing something or other. Stamp base mixer centrifuge. I think this is it. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'll probably need to make the see so there's your there's your copper there. So slowly uh transferring it but you don't want to waste the embers I don't know if it will like burn it and then store all of it or whatnot so but to make a I don't even know where they are gone um, must have thrown them out unless they're in this one well there's your core here so let's see what I need that and then I need the two bricks there's your two bricks. So, okay. So, we need to make pipes. So, um, there's our dawnstone here. Dawnstone is strong alloy of gold and copper, equal parts centrifuge using mixer. Yeah. So it needs to mix the centrifuge. Okay, so this is where I got confused last time and I fixed it, but I still need pipes and stuff. So we need a fluid pipe and a fluid extractor. So we need some more carmite plates and fluid pipes. And the fluid pipes are just steel, iron, sorry. So let's grab two of them, two of them, actually it'll be four of them. So, and I think this gives you eight, so... We'll have spares just in case. Yeah, 16. And I need some more Carmite plates. So let's grab eight. This will give us two. Hopefully, this will be enough. And yeah, whack that in there. And fluid extractor is two redstone. But I'm sure we'll need more, and I think we needed a lever for this one. Which I'll have to go get some more cobblestone. So. Oh, and then I'll need to make a mixer while I'm at it. So, mixer centrifuge, which is five iron plates, copper, some iron. Or an a lead plate. So let's grab a machine core. So f so we still yeah. So we need just take this and I'll take a lead. And let's see what's in this one. Is our one that we need. So put that there. This will gladly turn it into a plate. So we have our plate. So we look at the machine core, we go at this, we make one of them, and then one of these, and then the mixer, which we're missing five iron plates. I thought I'd grab some plates, but I did not. So here they are. Like this. So I don't know if this needs it. Uh, if we put it here. Now, does it need to be top? Or, I think it was the bottom, so it needs to come from the top down to the bottom. We may have to move it actually. Yeah, let's move it one across. And we do this. So, like that. Grab the fluid extractor and from the top to the 
bottom, but the problem is that's connected. I wonder if we can do this. Yes, there we go. And then this needs to be put in down the bottom as well, I think. So, but this needs more. Nope, that actually turned three of it in. So we'll grab three gold. I know it's a little bit cramped because Ember, but I don't really want to expand it that much. Because if it's making Dawnstone, I'll probably make like ten just Dawnstone, and then hopefully that will be enough was all I need. And I wonder if that will actually mix it here. No, I don't think it will. So, and then I think we go here. And there's our tank. And. I don't know what it's doing. Because. I don't know what any of it's doing. Oops. Let's do that. So the tank's working, but it's not getting pushed in. Maybe it needs to be the top. Okay, let's go. Molten gold. Still molten gold. Hmm. And it's not telling me where the copper is. I'm pretty sure the copper's in the bottom here. But it's not working. Maybe that needs to be up. Have a look. I'll probably need to feed it a couple more embers. Uh, where's my codex? No, that's not what I'm looking for. That one. While you have been using various metals, the flow of the energy through you believe that you may be able to create magic. Each food. Ah, there you go. So it needs to be bottomed. When pumped into these tanks, a particular combination of the top block of the centrifuge is given ember. Okay, so I was right. So it is the bottom, but you need its own side. So if we do this. Uh, so I'll need to pull that out and put it into there. So if we do this one as copper and I'll just do it this way and then this one as gold because that one should be there, that one should be there and then I'll grab I'll have to break this to pull it out but the problem is when I'm pumping in will it choose its own say gold I have no clue where it's gone so And you can't see how much embers is on there as well. So, where did it go? That ran out of embers. Is it 
bit too close. May have to just start again. Oh, there's something in there. Molten gold. Molten. Molten dawnstone. There we go. We've got dawnstone in there, but isn't it meant to go dawnstone up there? Very gold. Uh, I think it. I, I, I think it broke. Uh, it never meant to be moving around like that. So this is dawnstone altogether. Why is this getting pumped out? I thought it meant to come into the damn top. But this is all dawnstone now. Okay. I think I might uh, make the room bigger. Oh, actually, I could move this over to here. So, the activator here. The thing here. The lever here and so this should be old dawnstone no that's what I'm gold up there so technically gold has to come in here but why I I don't understand let's have a quick read of the mixer again One. While you have been using very yeah, we'll skip that uh, through the mixer field, you believe you'll be able to create new each face of the bottom of the centrifuge is its own tank. When fluid is pumped into these tanks, a particular combination and the top in a particular combination and the top block is of the centrifuge is given ember, molten alloy will be created which can be pumped out of the top block. Okay. Um, maybe I'm going to have to move this uh, one more across and have two of these so it won't actually attach. But let me make the stamper base. Uh, actually, I should check out what that requires. Uh, so we need eight bricks there. Nope, wrong one. It's run away from me. Fluid vessel, I wonder what that is. Uh, it might be where you pump stuff in and then out again. Don't know. Um, there's your stamper, stamper base. So bucket, yeah, okay. So all we need is a couple of so eight of these. So we whack them in here. Gladly I misclicked. And didn't kick it in. So we we'll also need another melter. Filter. So that requires another furnace, so that requires another carmite plate. So we'll hold that off for now. So we'll wait for this to be done. That took a little while. And there's those two, and the stamper base is here. Now this is just to hold the liquid so and there's our dawnstone sitting right in there now the other dawns the other gold is still being pumped around not too sure whereabouts but I'm going to end up breaking it because I need to move it Ah, there's Dawnstone in the top as well, so I still need another fluid pump to get it out. I don't know why it didn't end up here, but that is correct now. So what I'll do is just break this, because it should be pumped out there. So let's make another pump, which I don't know what we need for that. So a fluid extractor, so that was right lever so 
there's your fluid pump, and we can put that there, and one across and one down like that, and there will be more. Okay, so we will now break all this. It seems I will be having a bigger room than I was hoping for this. Uh, that is a glitch, so don't worry about it. Um, I'll actually probably need a repeater, because if I'm doing these... I don't know if these need power, but I need the other half to up above it, so... Um, so if I make a beam splitter, which it actually requires Dawnstone, so I should have just, you know, knew that. And there's the stamper. So we need a block of iron, six more, and copper. Man, we're gonna have to make more sand. So. But this seems to be a large setup, so I think I might redo the whole lot because um, this is the edge. Cover this in, and then this can go back over. No, it wouldn't really matter where it goes. This be in the middle. This can come out at the back. I don't know if the stamper actually requires anything to work, but let's have a quick look. Uh, Stamper, that one. Uh, uh. Okay, so it doesn't require anything, so that's good. So I could still just do this in a different or this way in here, because then that will come in into its own. Um, it will be a little bit bigger, but it should be okay. Um, I'll just quickly make the stamper, which was six. Um, we actually need to make the stamp base as well, uh, the ingot base, which is this one. Bar stamp, flat, plate, raw, so it re actually needs four more. So we're actually used all that up. It sucks really badly. It's just the clay part really. And that needs to be cooked. So we put that in there and we grab that. And we need the block of iron. Do I have enough iron? I do. So oh wow. Uh it's actually wrapping up point in time. I got way too excited into this. So I will end the episode here now as we have this and the other component. So you'll see it next episode. So have fun and later.